And that's making this. Put those up. Building a roof. Uh, we've been using the apps uh, Let Go and Offer Up, and for us, Offer Up has actually worked out better. Behind me, we we have like a mini Home Depot back here with lumber and stuff, and a lot of these things. Uh, let me see if I can turn this around for you. A lot of these things, like this siding, uh, someone is just getting rid of from one of their projects, so they're selling it for three dollars a bundle. So this whole, this thing is $3 that he was selling it for. So we bought it all. And this guy was just giving away bricks. He didn't need bricks anymore. Uh, someone was selling uh, 4x4 and rounded 4x4s for $5 each. This we bought at Home Depot. We bought about 10,000 pounds of concrete, which is going to go into the, the slabs and the post holes. Someone's getting rid of some uh, plywood. Someone selling pallets for a dollar. Got a bunch of windows for ten bucks for all of them. Some water drums for ten bucks. And of course more Home Depot discount stuff. So 70% off these guys. And some uh, tin roofing. Ten bucks for all of it. And all that is going to go to this stuff. So it's, it's, it's coming around pretty good. We have a, a roof now. All six posts in the ground. This is how big it's going to be. It's it's massive. So this is our current uh, state. Hopefully I can get most of the sheathing up today. We put down some of this um, kind of tongue and groove flooring. Because I, I had it extra from another project. So we figured we'd just put it in there. It's not the best. Because I'm not a professional carpenter. And like this, this one here is a few inches shorter than that one because I didn't measure twice like I should have. But it works enough for a chicken coop. They're not gonna care. And it's strong enough to to jump on and and uh, well, not you don't want to jump on the stuff over here. There's not as much reinforcement. It's made only for chickens. But you can hang from the roof. It's fine. It's it's, it's holding up perfectly. Okay, this is the coop. So far, got the roof up, got some of the siding on the side. There's a window there for ventilation. We're going to be putting hardware cloth on the inside. One door is set, and I need to set the other door. Not half bad. I totally trashed this place. Little bits of wood everywhere. New wood. Ooh, it's hot. It's like 110, 112 degrees right now. But luckily there's shade now. Let's take a look at this thing. So, this is the coop so far. So we got a, our little nesting box that we need to seal off because they're not going to be using it quite yet. Put it in two different parts because it's six feet long. It's just one foot by one feet, one foot deep. Got a, it's called hardware cloth, but it's basically to keep predators out. Just using a, a what is this called? The um, furniture staple gun for upholstery. I spot it on Amazon because you can adjust the um, the strength of which it hits the, the nails in or the staples in. And then using washers and screws to secure it uh, at key points to make it really taut. So that's that's not going anywhere. And afterward, putting siding up and then stapling it on the back, the back side to secure it even more. They got their little coop opening, some ventilation space on that side. And one of two doors and of course a window. The window slides open and then we're gonna put, I still need to put uh, more hardware cloth on that so that we can keep the ventilation good. And then the very few months or maybe singular month where it gets really cold in Phoenix, maybe close that. So this is it so far. Welcome to an Arizona dust storm. Can't even see across the street. That's super ridiculous.
There's the current coop. A couple of roosting bars. A nesting box that we need to block off for later. Pretty big run. Let's go around. These guys come up individually. I'll add uh, little handles to that later. Door, ramp, vent holes, window. So it's about oh, 18 square feet of ventilation for the uh, for the coop. Quite a bit of space for the everything else. There's my trash everywhere. There it is. It's pretty much the end. A little bit of painting, make it prettier, and we're done.